Kellen first. It has, I think it's been uh, a whirlwind 72 hours for everyone here, but for you especially, just coming off of winning an MLS Cup, can you first just describe what the last <laughs> few days have been like in your life? Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Um, a little bit of everything, you know. Just talking about the game in general. I mean, it was a roller coaster of a game, um, but uh, you know we got the job done. And um, then we went from the celebrations to you know finding out that I'm going to be here. So it's been a it's been a, it's been a great week to say the least. And um, um, yeah, now it's like okay, that put the MLS season behind me. Now it's you know looking on forward to. Um, the biggest tournament at the biggest stage in the world, and so I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity. Can you tell us how exactly you, you had obviously a unique way of finding out? Uh, can you tell us just the story of how Greg let you? Know? <laughs> yeah, so I was uh, I was like on my way to to the parade, our celebrations, and Greg sends me a text. It's like, hey, can you talk? And so you know, when whenever someone says that to you, your heart just kind of sinks, right? And so I'm like, oh man, what's this guy gonna say? I'm on the parade. I mean, uh, I maybe had one or two things to drink. So I was like, okay, maybe not the best time to be talking to, to the head coach. And then, you know, he gives me a call and I thought it was really peculiar because he FaceTimed me. And I'm like, why is this guy FaceTiming me? He's never FaceTimed me before. Like, this is weird. Like, I don't talk to him as, as often as, you know, I talk to like my friends or anything and he's FaceTiming me and, um, yeah, it was just a kind of a just like how the week's been, just a, like a roller coaster. I'm like, what? Um, but uh, no, he delivered the good news, and no, it was just a super exciting moment for myself and for my family because I got to share the news right then with them. They were just um, with me at the moment, and it was just it was it was really cool to experience that. Um, you know, as someone that was part of the last cycle, and we just missed out on the World Cup. What does it mean now to be punching your ticket to? Uh, yeah. Means everything. I mean, it's been it's been a dream of mine to to get to this point, and and obviously, you know, um, back in 2018, not qualifying, it was it was um, you know gut punching, and you know I worked hard to to really get back to this point in, in the group in general. I mean, we've had a, a a long journey to 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 achieve this goal and get into the World Cup, but you know, for me personally, I mean, this is something that. Um, I've always wanted to achieve, and um, you know, it's just a, just a huge opportunity. I'm just super excited, super grateful, and um, to to just to be a part of something that's bigger than myself, represent a whole country at the biggest stage. So, um, you know, I wear that with a lot of responsibility, and um, you know, I'm just super excited. I mean, it's something that I've always grown up watching as a kid, and to actually be a part of it is just it's a surreal feeling. Just give us your reaction to making the World Cup roster. Obviously extremely excited. Uh, this is a dream come true and kind of just trying to stay in the present, focus on you know what's next and not get ahead of ourselves, but uh, just excited, full of emotions and ready to get going. Um, tell people that may not know how you found out and who were the first uh, people you told. I found out on Sunday, I got a call from Greg and uh, he FaceTimed me. I was eating lunch with my wife, Sally, my son, Tucker, and he just said I was you know, part of the 26-man the roster. And so I was in a group text with some of my closer friends uh, on the team, Jordan and Christian and Aaron Long. And so I immediately texted them, and we were all kind of waiting all day for the calls. And then slowly after that, one by one, they would call back, and they got the call. And so to have all four of us in that group chat uh, make the final roster, you know, we, were, we were buzzing. Just uh, briefly tell us, you know, what's, what's the outlook for, for you in Qatar and overall for the team, three tough games coming up? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just trying to go out there, be consistent, and trust in who I am as a player, and not try and play out of out of what I'm used to, um, and just kind of taking it in stride, not getting overwhelmed by the environment, uh, the experience, but just being focused on winning, winning the game. And so that's what I'm focused on as a team. Uh, we have a tough task ahead of us, three good games, um, but we're, we're going to be locked in, and we got to take it one game at a time, one play at a time, and that's how we're going to do it. So. Getting everyone focused, uh, making sure we're not overwhelmed by the environment, the experience, and just go out there trying to win. 22 World Cup roster. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's a blessing to be named to the final roster. Um, a lot of hard work came in, you know, throughout the years, and um, to finally be at this moment, be named to the roster, is definitely a privilege, and hopefully we can go there and do well.
tell us the background on how you found out and who were the first people you told? Yeah, Greg called me on Sunday to let us know that, you know, who, who was making it. And um, he called me and, you know, we had a good conversation about, you know, camp and, you know, where he sees me in the group. And um, finally gave me the news, which was, which was great. Um, first people I called were my parents, obviously, you know, who've been there, you know, from the beginning through the good, the bad, you know, from childhood up until now. So called them, we had a good convo, a few of my friends, a few of my family, and then um, one of my oldest coaches too as well. So, so yeah, it was a good moment. Um, starting with the national team in 2018, three year break, mm -hmm. and coming back in 2021. and. and how you've taken it from there? Yeah, it's been a you know roller coaster ride. A lot of ups and downs. Obviously, 2018 you know was a you know good year for me. Debuted and um, played in La Liga for a bit. Then after after that, I had a few tough years. You know, trying to just find my way. You know, where I was playing, getting playing time as well. And then ultimately, you know, coming back to MLS this this summer to you know just felt like it was the right time to come back and grow the game and obviously you know put myself in the best position to, to make the World Cup, which is you know ended up working out well. Um, now I'm just ready to you know go there compete and um, yeah do well. What's, okay, last question. What's your outlook for for the group Wales, England, Iran, and uh, what this team can accomplish? Yeah, well, obviously we know it's going to be you know three difficult games. We're not you know overlooking anyone. I think we should you know take it just game by game, starting with Wales. You know try to you know get that that game. You know and um, obviously you know it's going to be a long you know a long tournament, long group. We want to start off well and um, go from there.